Oh, here we are again. She's been crying the whole Here we are again. Welcome everyone. We are doing another... Well, it's not a bad game challenge this time. It's a good game challenge. It's a good game win challenge. Win. <laughs> it's all good. So this is a $10 good game challenge. Do I try and explain the rules this time? Uh, the rules are basically you have 20... Oh, also $10. It's $20. That's right. I'll explain it. Don't worry about that. I'm just trying to... So the idea of this is that you spend up to $20 on a good game. You've got to find a good game. And we went to Pink Gorilla Games. It was Capitol Hill. Capitol. Yeah, we went to Capitol Hill to try and find this good game. So we had a little wander around. Uh, and yeah, that's the idea is you go get some stuff. So the idea and what you've got to do is... <laughs> I'll really try to explain the rules. I know, I'm trying to explain the rules. So uh, a point for every dollar under 20 spent, there's a point for every 10% or zero, mm -hmm. there's condition. Yep, that's about it. So let's see what we got. <laughs> right, the first. Rock, paper, scissors, please go first. Got it. What? Pick the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you're going to go. <laughs> They're going for come on. Yours came with that until I stop. <laughs> Ready? Rock, one, paper, two, set, no! What? Do you, do you want to play rock, paper, scissors? Yes! Rock, paper, scissors, so now we shot! Bang! There you go. Like a rock. Fine. Right. right. You just one. So I have heard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the game I picked up was a PS4 game, and that was Secret of Mana mm -hmm. on the PlayStation 4. So this is a game that I've actually been looking to pick up for a little while. So when I was looking at this, I was like, I actually want to buy a game that is something I want and I want to play. So I paid $18 for Secret of Mana, and this is the 3D up-res version of the original game that came out on Super Nintendo. So yeah, that was my game, published by Square Enix. So you know, shocking. You know I'm gonna love it. So. This is, yeah, so the, yeah, this is a 3D graphic game, completely built for 3D, uh, voice, voice acted characters, and upgraded gameplay. So, so you bought a Nintendo game to play on your PlayStation 4? Absolutely. Fair enough. <laughs> you ready for the damage? I'm ready for the damage. How much does it cost you? $18. So you got two points. Condition. I mean, it's pretty mint, I'd say. There's no scuffs or marks on it. Oh, no, a little, little scuff on the back, but... Yeah, it's pretty clean. See one? Yep. You see three, so? Yep, there you go. Yep. Ready for the score? Yep. So Metacritic gives Secret of Mana Remaster on PlayStation 4... 60? 63? 63. Oh, my. So we're nine points. Okay. Nine beans. Nine beans! Let's go. Right, so here we go. Okay, so... So the same vein, I kind of went for a game that is fucking expensive over where we are. And the, the one thing I liked with Pink Rell is I had a, a good selection of NES stuff. They sure did. I know it's cool. I don't know if surprise them, but they did have a load of good NES stuff. So I ended up picking Ghosts and Ghouls. No, sorry. Ghosts and Goblins on the NES. Ooh, okay. One of the hardest games ever released. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna beat it by any means, but I'm gonna get a good fucking try. This is a game I've been after for a while because I didn't enjoy the Ghouls and Ghosts was the other ones. Yeah. I did really enjoy them, the later ones, and I do love a hard game. I love stress and breaking stuff. Yep. So this was fucking, this was a must, to be honest. Yeah. 15 bucks. 15 bucks, little man. Five points. That is five points. Sure back. Back. I know. <laughs> Condition. I could, the condition's good, but again, it's not complete. But to be fair, to find the complete box one, it'd be crazy. So yeah. No, it looks it looks nice. Big label. label. The label is nice. shiny. Yeah. Should we show it? There you go. That looking all shiny and good. Drop all the was light behind there. Yeah. But either way, there you go. So I am thoroughly happy with that because the plan is I'm going to mod my NES next, which is why I'm buying quite a few NES games, and. Uh, this is when it gets played. So, so what does the old Metacritic say about Metacritic? Goblins and ghosts, is it? Just about ghosts and goblins.
Okay, IGN have given <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins 7 out of 10. So 7 points. We're going to say it's a 7, yeah. So, so 7, five, 8, five, 13 for me. Uh, what was mine again? I'm sure. <laughs> I think it's safe to say you just won. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm still very excited to check this game out though. I, I'm not actually sad about it. I mean, that probably is a lot of fun, uh, in terms of user score, but they're very different games anyway, so. I'm hyped. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Graham's extremely happy. We've managed to get around and check out some really good stores, so yeah. Either way, it's like double look cool shit for Pink Gorilla. Pink Gorilla. Say that again. Pink Gorilla. <laughs> Pink Gorilla. Pink Gorilla. No, no. Yeah, they, it, there are some great stores in the US, so yeah, um, Pink Gorilla is definitely up there as one of my favorite. Really yeah. It was like two out of the three locations. The first one was, it was cool, but it was very small. It was. Didn't they have a, a massive selection? Yeah. But the second one, the Capitol Hill one that we went into, Maybe. was a lot bigger and had a lot more kind of unique items. And I definitely think I could have spent a lot more money in there too. Oh my so. god. But uh, pickups video coming soon. Make sure to oh, check that out. It's is going to be on display. That pickups video is going to be like an hour long in itself. Yeah, it's going to be a very long video, so look out for that. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Hi, you'll snow.